simple. A term used to describe actions, objects, and things that are easy to interpret. A good example of something simple is the Google Dino game. All you do is press a button to make the dino jump to avoid obstacles so that he may survive the tragedy of the Jurassic Cretaceous extinction event. And looking back at the games I have made previously, I am not really a simple guy. I always try to make complex things, and trying to make complex things all the time can take quite a mental toll. So to fix this, I will do something simple. And that simple thing is recreating the Google Dino game. Now this is simple, but it is too simple for my liking. So how about doing it in 3D with voxel generation? So first, I need to implement the voxel mesh creation, which is pretty simple since I have already done this a whole year ago when I recreated practically a third of Minecraft and again recently for a tutorial series on the primitive recreation of core Minecraft systems in Unity. The only big change is tweaking the infinite terrain generator to be configured for side scrolling. Now, after applying some layers for generation, and some extra effects such as ambient occlusion, fog, sand particles, and other post-processing effects. With those in place, you have a nice desert environment that the soon-to-be 3D dinosaur will be able to run for its life. Now, it is time to make the actual dino game itself. And in order to do this, I need a dino. To model a dino, I wanted to follow the voxel look, so I used Magic of Voxel to model the different body parts of the dinosaur. And here is the final result. The dinosaur is definitely a special reptilian entity. Now, after half an hour of coding the dino, coding the cactus generation, and animating, the dino now perpetually runs in a singular direction, just like the dino in the original Google Dino game. Something is missing, however, and that is some extra particle effects. After applying that, the movement and animations now have more feedback. So having the base game complete is cool and all, but some extra things can be added such as a day and night cycle like in the Google Dino game. The way this was implemented was by having the main light just rotate over time and changing some lighting settings using gradients. With that implemented, you have a simple yet effective day and night cycle. I also added in a main menu with a fade screen transition to hide the initial generation of the world and to also make the game more presentable. Furthermore, I added in a death UI where random messages are generated to mourn the incredibly unfortunate L that has been bestowed upon the player. Along with the death UI, I added in a score counter so the player can dig themselves deeper into a hole of reason to continue a hyper-simplistic, unproductive game as the only reason why they are continuing is growing before their eyes. After adding the score, there was some incentive to continue playing, but not enough. So after adding in the score system, I, impl I, uh, I implemented a high score saving system. So now the player, if in the right mindset, will have the incentive to do better and better. So having a scoring system is cool and all, but what if you want to take intermittent breaks in a planned multi-hour dino gaming session? Well, that is when a pausing system will be useful. And in order to do this, I created freezing functions in things that should be frozen when the game is paused. And with that done, the pause now it is time to add in something special to make this game more unique, and that is power-ups. In this game, you can get four different power-ups. You can get a speed reducer, which resets the dino speed back to its starting speed to give the player some breathing room late game. The second power-up is you get an instantaneous amount of points. Uh, the third power-up is you can get double the points for some time. And lastly, the fourth power-up and rarest power-up is you can get a gun. Yeah, the dino gets a gun. And with that said, that is my recreation of Google's Dino game in 3D. This was pretty fun to make and I will probably do more cool projects in the future. So if you are interested, consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.